Well, I was asked to do a video on my quads and how I modified them to do what they have to do when I either hunt with them or do a landscape or snow plow. And I put body armor on them. And I started with 2004s. And I just kept modifying on them. If I broke something, I would fix it. And I put body armor. Now, I built a lot of things. And I've got a welder. So I started out building a camp, a portable camp, because we used to stay in wall tents. And if the game wasn't there, nobody wanted to move. It was too much work. So I made a mobile camp. I made a trailer so that everything sat on the trailer. It was handy, fast, and efficient. And I had a lot of equipment, uh, winches and that sort of thing, so that I uh, could get pretty much anywhere we had to, whether it was through a thromp, swamp or up a mountain. And I used my quads hard. I mean, I've moved buildings. I've done a lot of landscaping with them. And Quadzilla was actually named at the Alberta Calgary Sportsman Show, and it was named by votes. And the uh, Honda dealership wanted me to feature it, and so we uh, put it on display. And it got quite a bit of attention because it's uh, totally different than any other uh, quad you see nowadays. Because I relocated the rad, all my winches are on one inch receivers, and of course, quick couplers for so I can change the cables if I'm relocating them, whether they go front or back or on the trailer and that sort of thing because you never know where you're going to need that winch whether you're stuck in a hole or or uh, winching up a mountain or across a river and what i did is i took basketballs and footballs and i put them in voids in the frame and i blew them up so they'd provide flotation and of course i had to relocate the exhaust above the water line so it wouldn't get water in there and all the shocks are wrapped so that you, they don't get uh, clogged with mud and muskeg and that sort of thing. And that also the rims on the uh, Rincon are Bigfoot. They're staggered. So they actually, when you're following a trail where other quads have been there, it actually straddles the ruts. And so you don't have a wagon wheel effect. You can just uh, on, float on top those uh, ruts. Now everything is, uh, is tough. The rad relocate, that sort of thing. I've got spotlights on it, and it's set up to go pretty much anywhere, and I use it for everything. I've got a front-end loader on it, and I plow snow, everything with it. Again, now I wanted to show you a little more on the camp. I have a gas rack on the back. We can haul a lot of fuel, and that it's all on a one-inch receiver, so it can be removed in case you got a winch. I carry two five-gallons can of gas in the propane tank and the hitch. Now this is hooked up to the to the 450. It's also got the uh, exhaust high so it doesn't get water in it. And it's full body armor. Both of them have 30 inch rims so uh, we can, uh, if we have trouble with one quad, we can leave it parked and take the tire off, put it on the other one, that sort of thing. And uh, we've never had to do it. We've been very, very lucky. But with both of them having 30 inch tires, they both float, which is really, really uh, an asset depending where you're going because you never know what you're going to cross. And when, when I drive these things, when they're floating, you just uh, use your hip waders and you just kind of side saddle the uh, quad and use the throttle and the momentum of the tires to get you across. And a lot of times we'll, uh, we'll go across a river first and we'll run a... Uh, a cable across and then winch ourselves so you don't go floating down the current. And bo both quads have uh, waterproof quad boxes in them and 12 volt car batteries for winching so the little batteries that come with them get too hot when you're winching. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Any questions, let me know and we'll see you in the next video.